Hello, this is Audrey from Different Results. I am here to do a, I guess, a six-month review on my sinking funds. So, if you would like to see the end results of this, please stick around. I am. What are sinking funds? Sinking funds is something. Uh, it's funds you save for a bill that you know you may have two, three, six or eight months, maybe even a year later. So you start up a small sinking fund to uh, help you pay that bill. So uh, for instance, I have a bill for, let's say you have a bill for $1,200, so each month you save up $100. So by the time the end of the month, the end of the year come, you don't have to try to scramble to get that th that $1,200. You have saved $100 a month to get you that $1,200, okay? So, now, I am going to show you what I have done thus far for my sinking funds. So, let's get started. So, when I first start, I am using my Erin Condren's uh, Deluxe Planner. And I am using, the pen I'm using is an inner, inner Gel Liquid Gel Ink. Uh, 0 0.7 um, I prefer 0 0.5 but this work I still like it though so this is my yearly sinking fund so what we have here is that we have our categories estimated costs actuals and uh, plus or minus so what I estimated for the car insurance was 12.95 at fifty dollars per pay period so what I did was add uh, what I did was took that twelve ninety five and divided it by twenty six pay periods in a year, which would be fifty dollars per pay period. So whether I do that each pay period or not, that this is the estimation when I first did it. So we have twelve ninety five for car insurance. We have a thousand thirty seven fifty for Gerber for at forty dollars. We have car car maintenance at a thousand dollars. We have travel at a thousand. Glasses at six hundred, because I'm telling you, I have a whole lot of glasses. We have uh, gifts at five hundred. Ancestry.com at three eighty nine. We have Northwest Mutual at three twenty five. School clothes and uniforms supplies at five hundred. We have renters insurance at two ninety nine, and we have our tax at one sixty. So these are all estimated numbers. Um, okay, the total of these are $7,105. And the totals per pay period that I would be paying would be uh, saving is two eighty. dollars Okay? Now, these are a lot of things that I'm saving for that to make that $7,105. But... The, um, the important ones would be the car insurance, Gerber, Ancestry, Northwest Mutual, Renters, and Tax. That would be $3,495. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Excuse me. Okay, so this is what I first, this is what I initially set up, okay? Now, what I did after that was I made another page. And in, in this page, I set this up so each month, whatever I put, whatever I um, save, I'll plot it in here. Okay? So we have our mo monthly estimated goal, which was 280 We have our actual, uh, that I didn't do that right. Our actual would be 260 a month, 280 per pay period. Okay? And then this is the year to date. So for January, I was able to get my 280. February 245, March 176, April 305, May I was able to do 282, June I was able to do 882, July I was able to do 282. My total numbers are 1852. I did not add this six hundred dollars in because I'm going to use that to do to get the kids school supplies and uniforms stuff like that. So if I add that in, that would be twenty four fifty two, I believe. So okay, so that's that, and then we have. So 
Things changed when I got my taxes. When I got my taxes, what I did was pay my yearly bills, which is the bills I'm saving for now. So I, 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 <laughs> I guess I can't talk. I paid these bills off. I got a couple of things. And then I started a summer fund. Summer fund, which would uh, add to my 280 which was my daughter at $25 a month for her birthday, $88 for my son a car, a th which would be $1,000 uh, towards a car, because I told him I put $1,000 towards a car. Um, my do The sports was $38 a month, and then $20 a month for me, which totaled up to $171. So to that uh, 280, I would add the 171. So uh, that would be from April on, okay? So then we, here we are at May. So starting May is when the uh, sinking funds, no, April started, but this is when I started doing this on this format. So I was able to do everything I said I wanted to do, which would be the 280 plus um, the 280 plus the 171 and, and then any extra, which was what $22 extra on this. And then so it was my total for this was 1680 28. And then for this pay period, same thing. My total came to $2,117. Okay, that's for May. And then, so we're going to go to June. For June, we um able to do it again. Each pay period thus far, I have been able to do the 280 plus the 171 Okay. So the 171 again are my sinking funds, and the 280, uh, would be my yearly funds. So I was able to do that again here. Then I was able to do that again here. By the end of June, I had $3,839, okay? So that was for June. And then here we go at July. So for July, the first check for July, I was able to do some of that. Of course, the 282 and the $600. That's where the $600 came in at, okay? The extra $600. Um, and then I was able to do some of that. So we have, we are at $3,732. And now we are here. We had to subtract some because I was able. I had. To, I was. I had completed some of my goals, which was the um, my birthday money, my son's mon my son's car money, my daughter's uh, sports money, my daughter's birthday money. So we are done with this. So it all came up to three thousand six hundred and fifty-two dollars. As you see, I had to subtract some because we took some out for my daughter here and then now this is done i am completed i have completed my july um sinking my summer sinking funds i have completed those and now what i'm going to do with that uh 171 friday i'm going to take and get my son some con his contacts and then I'm going to later take and get my uh, daughter some uh, sports uh, sports glasses, and then I'll after that I'll take that money and put all of it, which uh, is the 171 plus the 280 towards my yearly sinking funds. So guys, I think I'm doing good. Well, actually, I'm doing actually really good because I have completed everything I set out to complete so my July budget my August budget will be uh, sinking fund will be quite different because I am done with the uh, summer sinking funds and I'll be only doing my uh, yearly sinking funds and again I'll take that other money and get my kids uh, 
contacts and glasses. So, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoy. Stay to the end, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Many blessings. Thank you.